All right, so today I'm doing a maintenance on this rude heat pump package unit. And as you can see, I've got some lattice work here that's up against the unit. And there's probably uh, 75, 60 to 75% of the coil is back here. So I definitely need to be able to get to that and remove the panel so I can clean this. Um, I could just clean it from the inside out, but I, I don't want to do that only. I don't mind doing that, but I also want to be able to you know, inspect it and rinse it from the outside as well. Just a preference of mine. As long as you can do it, that's what I like to do. Ah, that's not too bad. Let's see what the side looks like. So there we go. No one's taking the time to pull that panel off, so it's definitely dirtier over here. And as you can see, this coil wraps around. So look at all that buildup in there. We'll get all that cleaned up. All right, so overall, the unit looks Pretty decent. Evap coil is looking pretty good. Some build up down here, but no big deal. We'll get all that vacuumed up. So it looks like uh, blower wheel looks like it's in good shape. So that's good. I guess the main thing here is gonna be just getting everything vacuumed up and then cleaning this outdoor coil checking our capacitor, uh, electrical and everything just to make sure everything looks good. Looks like the capacitor has been swapped out. That's not a factory one, so, but we'll still check it. And then we'll get it tested out and see how it's running. All right, so the first thing I, I like to do before uh, getting the hose and start washing everything down, is grab my vacuum to vacuum out all those leaves down there and then I have a brush. I like to use a little two inch brush to kind of like dust all the wiring and electrical components off. Um, and then either take the nitrogen and blow it all out or just use the vacuum. It just depends on how, how bad it is. So. I think I can get away with not wasting any nitrogen on this one. Just use the brush and the vacuum and then vacuum out the leaves um, in that condenser section and then start spraying everything down. Um, it just makes less of a mess if you get all the dry stuff up and out of the way and then you start cleaning your coils. All right, so before I get vacuuming on this unit, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, and it's free to grow. Uh, they're an AI-based answering service that is phenomenal. So basically what you can do is you can program the script of what, they, what that AI voice um, is actually saying to the customer when they call in. So you can dictate exactly how you want them to respond, how to answer, all of that. So you have full control, which is pretty great. Um, and the reason why you really want an answering service is because, you know, for me, one man operation, or if you're a larger company, um, you may not wanna be out here answering the calls while you're doing the jobs, right? So for me, I wanna stay focused on the work at hand. I don't wanna be answering the calls constantly. Um, that's gonna distract me from the work that I'm doing, and uh, I just don't, I don't really care for that. So 
having someone to be able to answer the phone and not pay someone an hourly uh, wage to sit there at a desk to answer those calls is fantastic. So um, they have a lot of good features. So if you guys are interested in a demo, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. Check it out, no cost to you. Um, whether you wanna use it for 24 hours or if you wanna do like an after hours situation, uh, it's totally up to you. So it's customizable at that point. Um, anyway, if you're interested whatsoever for an answering service, check out the description. I highly recommend Free to Grow. So now is a good time to look over everything and make sure there's no potential rub outs. Um, so any kind of copper tubing maybe that could be touching other tubes, your wiring, make sure everything's zip tied and there's, you know, it's not touching any other copper pipes anywhere. It's just a good time to kind of go over that and make sure a quick zip tie won't save the system from a leak. So. Everything looks pretty good there. Should be 40 microfarads on the compressor side. So that looks good. And then should be five on the fan, that's good as well. Capacitor is in good shape. I absolutely love these hoses, these collapsible hoses. I just, I get mine from Home Depot, the pocket hose. Um, I wanna say this is like a 75 footer, if I'm not mistaken. And just as far as keeping the hose, you know, on the on the van, it takes up no space. And then you get the length of a 75 footer. Obviously they're not gonna be as durable as a standard hose, but as long as you take care of them, this one's lasted me. So no complaints. Now remember we had some debris back in here, so I wanna make sure I get all of that out. Easy to forget. When it comes to cleaning the coils, there's multiple ways I like to do it. Um, I've got this portable coil jet. Um, Diversitech makes this. This is cool because it has a built-in battery. And then, so you the battery stays charged. You put your water in here and you put your cleaner inside this over here. And then that way, if you're in an area that doesn't have any water, you've got everything you need to be able to spray with the cleaner, which auto mixes it. And then you can turn the dial to where there's no cleaner and it's just the water. And then you rinse it off at that point. 
So, and it's, it's a, a power, you know, a pressurized system here. So just enough pressure, in my opinion, um, to be able to do indoor coils without damaging them and also not like creating a huge mess. And then also doing your outdoor coils as well. So you've got different tips and different wands to get in like hard to reach areas. These are great for like uh, the backside of, you know, ductless systems on a high wall or maybe it's a condenser coil that you just can't get around to kind of like this one you can use these wands so anyway this is a cool setup to have i like to use this um, on mainly ductless units in commercial applications that's typically where i use them obviously you don't want to run um, a, a hose all the way an indoor unit inside someone's house for a high wall and then a lot of the times on a commercial application, you're in the middle of a huge roof. Um, they're bad about not having any water access. So that's where these come in. Uh, today, I'm just gonna use a normal uh, foam sprayer here. So with Diversitech, you've got all these different types of cleaners. Um, this one is the Pro Red Plus for uh, extra heavy duty uh, coil cleaner. Then they have like normal duty. This one's light duty for indoor coils um same thing there and then this is the triple d so this is the medium duty uh universal coil cleaner so i'm going to use this for this particular job just because it's not real bad and i don't need to use like a heavy duty cleaner um, they also have the pro blue which is a heavy duty outdoor cleaner as well so it's pretty cool they you know it comes in this little box here and it has all of the coal cleaners that you need it's it's their master care lineup I like how small they are. I keep them in this box. Obviously you don't have to keep them in there. You can keep them in wherever you want, but it's nice and organized as you can see like this. So I keep it like that in the truck or the van. Um, and I've got all the cold cleaners that I need. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So when it comes to Diversitech stuff, um, obviously they're a sponsor of the channel, but it's for a reason. Uh, I really believe that they offer pretty much everything that you're gonna need especially for maintenances. They're kind of a one-stop shop, right? They have all the coil cleaners, they have the machines that you need to be able to clean the coils. But not only that, they have all types of products. So for instance, right here, I keep all of my capacitors, contactors. These are all uh, by Diversitech, their Titan Pro lineup. Um, and these are, you know, capacitors are one of the weakest links in a system. These are made in America, which is important to me. And they are now backed by a 10 year warranty. So that's huge. That's good peace of mind whenever I'm installing a new component for my customers that, you know, they're gonna be taken care of. It's not something they're gonna have to replace once every two or three years. So, but not only that, um, springtime is here. So I'm getting stocked up with, you know, all different types of condensate pumps. Um, safety switches for drain lines and auxiliary drain pans because a lot of the times i'll go on calls and they're they don't have a safety switch in their aux, uh, their aux pan or in their drain line so i always recommend that because we have a lot of attic jobs here and you need to have that protection when you have drain lines and things like that in the attic so anyway i like to stock up on all the safety switches assurity is their brand or is their lineup for all the condensation uh, management systems. So anyway, I just kind of want to throw that out there because a lot of folks, you know, I talk to people and they don't know that Diversitech offers such a wide spectrum of parts, tools, right? The Hillmore brand. Um, they offer a lot. So check out their website. I'll even leave it linked below because once I found out that they offer so many different items and tools and things, it's just helpful uh, for me because they have a massive catalog and you can just, you know, order what you need a lot of supply houses use and sell Diversitech products. So um, that's a win for me because I wanna use products that I recommend, that I actually care about and I think that are gonna you know, hold up for the customer. So something that I believe in. So anyway, it's springtime. So it's all about stock in the van because you know, it's gonna get busy. And I wanna make sure that I have all the parts that I need to be able to, uh, to do the job that I gotta do. With these bottles, this thing makes up to a gallon of cleaner. And I'm not gonna need that much, right? This is a small coil. So I think what I'm gonna do is just start off with 
because you don't have to pre-mix it, this does the mixing for you. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. If I use it up, I'll pour more, right? I don't wanna have to have extra in there. I can always add more. So, we'll just do maybe a quarter of it or so. Just to start off, and always add more. And then I'm gonna do it to where it's uh, diluted quite a bit. So I don't want, I'll probably do a setting of B on this particular one. You don't want to go crazy with it. I'll lightly spray the outside and then I'll lightly spray the inside as well. All right, so that completes today's video. It was all about how to actually clean the system. Now, if you wanna see me go through it while it's running, checking what I check to make sure it's functioning properly, well, you're just gonna have to subscribe and check out the next video. We'll see you then.